Hey everyone, this is Bissam from Gaza. I'm still alive and looks like after 214 days, it's now the turn of Rafah to be destroyed. So the Israeli army today at the morning dropped leaflets over the people living in the east and the middle of Rafah, telling them to evacuate their places because they're going to start the military operations or the ground invasion there in the east and the middle of Rafah. And they told people not to go to Mawasi area or the coastal area of Rafah, not even to go to any schools or hospitals in the west of Rafah. They told people to go to Khan Yunus. Yes, as you heard, Khan Yunus. Khan Yunus is 100% destroyed the municipality the humanitarian workers and agencies are saying that the schools the hospitals the infrastructure roads and homes of khan yunis the whole area of khan yunis are 100 percent destroyed there is no even a place for people to put tents there yani, uh, for that it's dangerous and there's no places there's no water there's no hospitals no schools no homes no roads uh, um, the, the still standing but destroyed buildings are about to fall it's too dangerous to be in Hanunis. and despite that the israeli army knows طبعا, everything about this because they did this they know everything, but they're also telling people that the Mawasi area of Rafah is no longer a safe area. It's no longer a safe area. While in the past, when we were in the north of Gaza Strip or when we were in Khan Yunis, they were telling us to go to the Mawasi area, to the far south of Rafah, to the humanitarian aid zone. Now, they are telling us simply that the place where hundreds of thousands of people lived there, built, built their tents there, tried to secure water and electricity by putting some solar cells, all these people are in danger and need to evacuate to Khan Yunis. They updated the safe area zone and excluded the Mawasi area of Rafah where the field hospitals are, where the uh, the distribution uh, spots, the uh, aid distribution spots are, where the, um, the where everything is. Even the warehouses of Al-Anurwa, UNICEF, UNFBA, and any other agencies. The warehouses are there. Even the world central kitchen, main kitchen is there in Al-Mawasi area of Rafah and the west of Rafah. Now, nothing of this is a safe area. This is the first thing you need to know about the invasion of Rafah. Today, they started to evacuate the east and the middle of Rafah and telling people to go to Khan Yunis, while Khan Yunis is very dangerous and cannot be lived. Cannot, it, Khan Yunis is not livable, guys. There's no life in Khan Yunis. No life, never. Okay, you already saw Khan Yunis in a lot of videos, my videos, and I'll show you more and more of destruction in Khan Yunis. But no people can live there. And now they are telling all these people to go there. Women, elders, children, patients, um, uh, yani hospitals. They are even telling uh, uh, Abu Yusuf in Najjar hospital to evacuate. Now in Rafah, you have only three hospitals. Abu Yusuf in Najjar, uh, Kuwaiti hospital, and these are very small hospitals and only dealing with the emergency and the first um, aid, let me say, and the maternity hospital, the only maternity hospital in Gaza Strip, Al Morati Hospital. And uh, uh, the first two hospitals need to evacuate now, and the third hospital is also threatened. 